Oh, Thanksgiving can be stressful, especially if, if you have loved ones staying at your house. If you're procrastinating on cleaning up that guest room, don't worry. Moore's organizing expert Vicki Norris has tips to make the process as painless as possible. Hi, I'm Vicki Norris of Restoring Order. Do you have a spare room that has turned into a junk room, a final frontier for your nomadic items? Well, I'm going to show you how to turn that junk room into a useful, hospitable, and lovely guest space. So in this spare room, there were many categories of things that had landed. There was memorabilia of a lot of varieties. There was gift wrap in different sizes and shapes, bows and boxes. There was pillows and blankets that were used throughout the home. And of course, lots of clothes, hanging clothes, out of season clothes, and clothes that just needed to be donated, hand-me-down clothes. But the problem that this posed is that it was really an uncomfortable place for guests. There wasn't room to spread out and hang up your clothes. There was no room for your suitcase. And that does not make a hospitable and inviting room. Okay, with the exception of gift wrap and tubes, everything else went up high. Now, I have been in lots of spare rooms in my time and everybody has a box of boxes. And so here we have boxes for gift wrap. We have Christmas gift wrap, Christmas bows, and then the birthday and all season gift wrap, and then we've got some boxes. What this did by putting everything up high was it cleared room for hanging space and floor space. Okay, in a good organizing process, you're going slow and you're sorting and removing items by type so you can make good decisions. I was gonna use this potentially for gift wrap, but when I decided not to do that and I came up with a better solution, I began to think about what is the most used category of items in this particular home. They use blankets and pillows to change things out seasonally. And so I created this incredible blanket station using cabinets. Now, a lot of people would think about putting blankets in a trunk or in a closet, but they're beautiful and they're really frequently used. And so this is a great solution. Plus, now the guests can look at something lovely instead of gift wrap or knickknacks. There are four elements I wanna highlight from this project that will help you create an inviting and hospitable space. First of all, you need some floor space for suitcases and your guests' belongings and some hanging space for their clothes. This entire project only cost $30 in purchasing hangers. Second, put out some fresh flowers. Go the extra mile, even something from your yard. It just makes your guests feel so welcome. Number three, I think an inviting guest space includes a workstation for your guests. Some place they can put their laptop, some place that they can make notes, they can spend some time and get away in your comfortable and inviting space. Okay, the fourth element of an inviting guest room is some hospitality. Be sure to put out some snacks and water for your guests so they have a little refreshment. Here is to reclaiming your space and your hospitality. Thanks, Vicki. Some awesome tips as always. We have a link to more of Vicki's tips on our website, kptv.com slash moregdl.